this horrible cold wind and if you've got a big full tummy like these two have it is the perfect place to have a nice rest it must be much better in this thicket behind some of this brush so I'd imagine we're not going to see too much movement from them although I thought now around sunset we would see them waking up and maybe going for a drink after a warmish afternoon warm, warmer afternoon should we say but it seems as though nope it's still bedtime and still time just to tuck up and rest there's another leopard there's another leopard we've got a third leopard here there we go so Tundi's arrived there we go look at that guys three leopards in the same sizing now look she's just watching how is this <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> and this is amazing look at that guys three in one so there's screenshot very oh that's so awesome and look Tundi's just watching them she's not at all too fussed at this stage she's just like who are these two lying in this area and what are they doing here now Hassan and Shungile have not seen them seen her at all and the fact that there's two of them might make Tundi a little bit more aware of what's going on she certainly is just sitting and watching isn't this ridiculous oh, this is absolutely amazing Now I said earlier that there was bushbuck alarm calling and squirrels alarm calling and maybe Tundi would arrive and well we've absolutely nailed it so <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> what are the chances of her arriving straight to where we are now and us to be in the position that we're in where we can get all three of them in the same frame. But Tundi's she's not really sure what to do I don't think. She's unsure about the fact that there's two of them. I think if it was just one she would probably be far more likely to approach. But look she's just watching she's just trying to see what is going on here. Tani, are you confused girl? And three of my favorite leopards in one sighting is just so cool. Now if Tumba shows up where I'm just I might have died and gone into leopard heaven if Tumba shows up. Mm -hmm. Certainly will have. But look she see she's just watching Shungile moving. Ah, Lara Moe, you say, what's an expression on her face? Now, Shungile has just lifted her head and is stretching, and Tandi's watching ever so carefully. She's trying to see. She almost got a bit of a fright and moved. Here comes Tandi. Tandi's stalking in. Look, she's coming closer. Look at those eyes. Now, that expression means business, and these two cats have not seen her at all. Hopefully one of the cats will pick up. She's going to sit down right there and these two have not noticed her at all. It just goes to show you that a leopard is so quiet when it moves that these two cats really have got no idea. Now the thing is, is if either of them notice them, they're going to panic and probably run. It's certainly going to be very interesting to see what happens now. I don't think Tundi knows what to do either because you see she's stopped now as well. This is ridiculous. What are the chances? Tony, you say how exciting. What on earth is going to happen? Look, you see, Shongile just moved and Tandi goes lower just to lie down and see what's going on. She's now noticed, I think, that there's a second leopard, that there's not just one. And she's now a lot more aware of what's going on. Look, she's staring at Shongile. This is crazy. How cool is this? <laughs> Snazzy, you're wondering why she's creeping. Shungile, I think, has noticed her now. Shungile just dead. There we go. Look, Shungile's up. Tandi's much lower now as well. So the reason why she's creeping is because she doesn't know who these leopards are. She's not sure who they could be, whether or not they're a threat. And she's getting closer to try and see what's happening without giving herself away. She's now gone into a position basically as though she was stalking an animal, just to try and weigh up her options and see what's happening. Now look, Shungile's seen, Shungile's chuffing. Then now Osana's up as well. So Shungile's now showing submissive displays. Look, there we go. Osana's also up and watching. Listen to Shongile, she's growling. Here comes the <coughs> <Let me see. coughs> He's fighting with one another. This is unfortunately what does happen. Hassan is out. But they both are going at each other properly. 
Now, there we go. It's difficult to see what's going on, but Tandi is definitely the one that is standing at this stage. Now, Shongile is playing submissive. She's on her back, she's growling, and she's hissing. And this is, unfortunately, what was going to happen with Shongile. We've been talking about the fact that there's been territorial females around and that she has to be careful. Now, I don't want to move too much. I just want to let them sort themselves out. I don't know where Hosanna's gone. Hosanna ran off. I'm not sure where he is. But this is absolutely crazy. We're going to try and see if I can't just get through to see what's going on because there is a ditch in front of me and a few stumps. Hopefully, hopefully this is not anything too serious and that Shungile is okay. She doesn't look like she's got any sort of sign of... Can you see Hosanna? No, there they go again. So, Tandi is the one that is circling around and she's definitely the, getting growled at heavily by Shongile at this stage. But look, you can see there's a few little cuts. So Shongile definitely landed a few on her face. Now look, Tandi's moving off. So Shongile has done at least enough to try and show Tandi that she's not going to lie down. But look, there's a few cuts on the face. So both of them will get a few little nicks. Now nothing there is going to be too serious at this stage. They definitely will have a situation where there's going to be a few little flesh wounds, but that's not going to in any way hurt her. The one making all the noise is actually Shongile. She's the one that's being super gr grumpy and aggressive and hissing. And she's obviously learned that that's how she has to. But this is ridiculous. And I know a lot of you are going crazy. And I'm sure a lot of you are thinking that Hosanna must help his sister, but that's not going to happen. Hosanna is not going to get involved in this. He's heard fighting and he's now nervous. But here comes Tandi. She's coming back to where I think Hosanna was lying to see what's going on. There she comes. She's certainly not impressed with life, is Tandi. And she's made a big statement here is that, Shongile, you are not welcome in my territory at all. So if any of you are wondering what's been happening with Tandi and whether or not she's tolerant, you can see she's not at all tolerant of a female. She's not, did not go at all for Hosanna. She left him alone. Now look, she's sniffing. She's working out who are these leopards that I've just fought with. And off she goes. Alison, you're wondering if there's any chance one will kill the other. Well, Alison, it's a possibility. You never know with leopards. It can happen, but I don't think so. I think in all likelihood, we're in a situation where what's been happened now is the display has been made. Tandi has certainly put the gauntlet down and has shown she's not shy of putting her foot down and getting rid of these young leopards. Now, unfortunately, I can't go any further. Let's just try and see, Seb, if we can't punch through here, maybe. Obviously, there's a lot of trees and bushes and I'm trying to just see if I can't get round to where Shungile is so I can see how she's doing because no, we're not gonna fit there so we're gonna have to try and get into reverse let's try sorry Seb you're gonna have to just duck on your side and these are just a fallen over stump now Tandi is still sitting in the thicket there and I think Shungile is still here I haven't seen her move off she's just lying there's Shungile, and she looks okay actually. She's got less scars on her than Tandi has at the moment. She certainly doesn't have any blood on the face. She's got a bit of dust on her backside, but that's it. She actually looks fairly all right. And like I said, one point during that fight, because it was difficult to see behind all the bushes, but it looked like Shungile was actually on top, fighting with Tandi and biting Tandi more than Tandi was on her. So it's quite an incredible feat. Look at her. You can see she doesn't have any cuts on the face, so she certainly got a few in. To Tandi. Now Tandi's coming back the front of my car. She's going to be coming round. This is ridiculous. Now hopefully, look at Shungile, look at her. She's very upset. She's showing and standing her ground. She certainly, look, listen. Well done, my girl. You need to be like this. And this is how she asserts herself. If she wants to become a territorial individual, this is what she's got to do. at a time like this that she needs her mother's fight and her mother's attitude to sort this out. Now here's, Hosanna is actually the one in front, here comes Tandi behind who's salivating 
So she's growling at Hosanna at the moment, but Hosanna's the one that's right next to me, and here comes Tandy behind Hosanna, and I wonder if Hosanna's not gonna get a little smack on the backside as well, because he's right in front, and now he's growling at Tandy as well. So Tandy's being growled at by both the Cubs. So if you were wondering what Hosanna's stance is here, he's definitely put himself between Shangila and he's growling at her. This is just insane interaction. This is a once in a lifetime. Now, Tandy's lying down. Hosanna's watching Shongile. He's just in front. That's Hosanna there. And Shongile has got her eyes firmly fixed on this position. Now, she's also growling as well. I think everybody's trying to work out who is who at this stage. Nobody's actually sure what is going on. I don't think Tandy really understands the situation. There's a male here that is the same size as her, which she's giving no trouble to whatsoever. And yet there's this female. And the loudness of this fight, who knows what other leopards could arrive. You could easily find Tingana moving into this area and checking what's going on as well. Sure. What an insane little passage. But I'm so impressed with Shongile. She stood up for herself better than I thought she would. And she certainly showed Tandi she's not going to lie down. So Fari, you were saying maybe she thought Hossein, Hosanna and Shongila were a mating pair. Well, undoubtedly I think that's what she thought. I think she's thought that there's another female here mating with a male and that's why she's gotten so kind of upset about what's happened. That's, I'm sure what's happened. That's why she's not showing aggression towards Hosanna who's right here. She showed aggression to the female which is smaller and certainly has tried to prove that she is the dominant female in here and tried to chase Shongila away. She's not worried about Hosanna. But the thing is, is that Chungile, like I say, has stood up for herself. She's growling, she's hissing. She's saying to Tandi, I don't care if you're the female. This is my area with my brother and this is where I'm staying. So it is a really interesting study of leopard behavior, that's for sure. But wow, they certainly got into it, didn't they? Tandi's now lying quite flat at the moment, so she's not moving too much. Wow, I actually am a bit speechless. That took me completely by surprise. And like I say, I am super impressed with, with Shongila. She's, you've really outdone yourself, Shongila, to stand up like that and to fight and come out with less cuts and scrapes than what Tandi has is really quite something. Although I think she might have, sometimes when they fight, they sometimes damage their claws. And I think she might have damaged her claw on the front left. You can see there, look, there's a little bit of blood there. Or looks like blood so I think that's the claw that must have made contact with Tandi but it's insane we've got three different leopards growling all around us so I've got one in front one to my left and one to my right and they are all not happy about what's going on Whew. like I say guys I actually don't even know what to tell you I mean it's just ridiculous this is the most insane thing ever. Watching leopards in this kind of situation is just crazy. And who knows what's going to happen and how this is going to play out. At the end of the day, it's a female with another female and a male in amongst it. But the way that Hosanna has positioned himself now, little Shongile at least has a barrier from where Tandi is. And Tandi's lying down and she's just growling. And But it looks like Shongile doesn't want to give up because Shongile has been left alone, basically. she's There's Hosanna. You can just see his spots in front of me. But Shongile has been left by Tandi and she didn't run. So Shongile has made it very clear that she's not running away. She's staying right here. Whereas Tandi, you can see, is a bit confused by all of this. She's not sure what's going on. And at the end of the day, a leopard female that doesn't run away from her and, and stays and, and growls and hisses is completely sort of throwing down the gauntlet. But here she goes. Now she's going towards Hosanna. Hosanna's right in front. Now is she going to attack him? Just going to... Shongile is not happy about Tandi coming closer. Now you see Tandi's response to Hosanna is very different. You see she's in the submissive pose now. She's down, head down. There comes Hosanna. Hosanna's coming out towards Shongile, which is good news. Hosanna, you just go lie with your sister and look after her. This is just ridiculous. Tandy is still down here in the thicket. 
Uh, Seb, I'm just going to level us out a little bit. Because Seb is battling with trying to keep focus on all of these leopards. So I'm just going to go down a little bit so that Seb can see what's going on. And also just help him. Is that better, Seb? Or do you want me to straighten out of it? So there we go. That's going to hopefully help Seb a little bit. But there's Shongile. So you can see Shongile, Hosanna, and then Tandi to my left. So they're all in a kind of line at the moment. And certainly Hosanna, I think, is also unsure as to how to deal with this problem. He's probably never seen his sister this upset. And she's upset even with him. She's even growling at him at the moment because I don't think she knows what's going on either. speechless and well I think we all are at this stage this is absolutely crazy and what to make of all of this and how this is all gonna play out is anyone's guess I, I certainly don't have any idea as to how we're gonna go from here but Hosanna is definitely sort of more siding with his sister you see he's moving towards his sister she's not impressed at all so Shongile at this stage is very very unimpressed by what's going on look at her as you can see so now she's even doing that to Hosanna. Hosanna's just walking slowly past her. Go sit with your sister. I think Hosanna might get a little smack from his sister as well. No, she's realized now that that's Hosanna. So she's now focused on Tundi, who's also not happy at all. Look at Hosanna's now flame and grimacing. He's smelling where that fight took place. This is going to end anytime soon, either. Philip, you're wondering what sensors they use to ID each other. Well, most certainly, the main sense that they're going to use is going to be in this situation when they're so close is eyesight. But there will also be sense of smell. You could see how Hosanna had his nose down sniffing. So he sniffed and then he curled his lips back and had his phlegm and grimace. Now you see, look, he's still sniffing. So he's trying to work out who are these individuals that are fighting and which one is my sister, which one is, you know, a intruder and so that's what they're using but eyesight at this stage will be probably the biggest sense that they're using but well done Shongile like I say she's done a sterling effort to try and keep herself safe see she obviously got a bite in as well because she's got blood on her teeth as well so she must have bitten Tandi somewhere as well and she's got no sign I can't see any blood on her at all so she seems to have come out of that fairly well which is pretty insane Tandi's up as well So, Charlie, you say back right hip on Shongile. Well, it's possible. I can't see anything at this stage, at least on her stomach. Look, there's nothing there, which is good news. So that's okay. Now, Tandi is slowly but surely edging her way forward again. So let's see how this plays out. But, whew. I don't know if this is good for my nerves anymore. There's just too many leopard incidents lately with, you know, problems that we've had are not, not good for my nerves. <laughs> Hopefully this will just end in one of them deciding that they're over it and move off. But I would imagine that tomorrow there's going to be a massive movement of all of these cats. I don't think any of these three are going to be in the same place as what we're seeing them right now. <coughs> Look at this. Look at Shongile's aggression. She's actually starting to mock charge back at Tundi. And Hosanna got a massive fright. He, his sister came charging forward a few steps. And 
Hasana got a huge fright. You see, he's just sat down again now. Shame, boy, did you get a fright? Are these girls causing too much commotion for you? And don't tell me there's another one arriving, that she's <laughs> looking around. Jude, you say your nerves are a wreck. Well, I think Jude, you and everybody else at this stage, we're all in the same boat. This is really just the most insane thing. Hopefully this is all going to end peacefully, like I say. I just it would be better actually at this stage if Shungile just decided to cut her losses and move off. The problem is as soon as she turns her back, Tandi's going to be onto her like a flash, like what we saw earlier. So it's better that her and Hosanna sit like this, growl and hiss and carry on and try and keep Tandi at bay. Now Tandi's busy licking some war wounds on my left hand side here. She's just getting rid of all that blood on her face. Look, like I say, you can see who the most aggressive is of this whole encounter is Shongile by a long stretch. Oh, I'm just checking because she keeps looking behind me. The last thing we need is another leopard to enter the fray here. There's more than enough drama as it is at this stage. Say a moment to catch our breath a little bit. There we go, everybody's just calming down slightly. Jinska, you say Karula would be proud. Well, most certainly, she's certainly shown Karula's spirit this afternoon. She's definitely not stood down to Tandi at all. And is this the moment that Shungile goes from? A cub to a adult and starts to progress in life because she most certainly has not taken a step back for Tandi at all. She might be buoyed by confidence of having Hosanna around as well. You might find if Hosanna wasn't here she might have run a bit quicker but she's certainly not backing down. Look you can see she's got the posture that is more threatening. She's growling, she's hissing and she's not impressed that Tandi had a go at her. Like I say, my nerves. John, you say the best form of defense is attack. Well, if that's the case, then Shungila has got certainly doing the best job she can because she is not at any way backing down. As you can see, she's aware of her surroundings now. She's not going to get caught again unaware. She's making sure that she keeps her eye all the way around her, even on Tandi. And I see Tandi standing again. That is not a happy cat. Tandy's tail is going crazy in this bush as well. So inside there is where Tandy is. You can just see the tail bobbing up and down every now and then. There it is. You see it flickering. And that is the sign of a very unhappy cat. Oh, here she comes. Look, she's coming out into the open. Now, you see her posture? Even Hassan is now growling as well. I wonder if they come to blows again, if Hassan is going to get involved this time. I can tell you one thing though, these two are certainly not taking this lying down so to speak and there goes Tandi she's down as well this is ridiculous we have three leopards literally staring at each other at the moment and I don't think any of them know where to look so Tandi Hosanna Shungile and us in the middle and seriously it is just you can see two leopards that are not impressed but interesting if you look at Shungile now look at her tail so her tail is not flicking as much as what Tandi's is her tail is up and almost in a submissive posture so she's showing
suddenly I'm not a threat to putting up my white tail, although it's starting to go now. Yeah. Hassan is bewildered by all of this. He doesn't, I think, doesn't even know what to make of what's just gone on. His very peaceful, lazy Saturday afternoon has been completely interrupted. Look at those eyes. It's almost like to say, what do I do now? I've got two females and <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Well, Hassan, I can tell you the best thing to do is just to stay where you are now because you're keeping Tandi at bay from Shungile at this stage, I think. The fact that Tandi can see there's two leopards in front of her is definitely keeping the situation the way it is at the moment. you that that sound that she's making is spine chilling if you had to be the one on the other end of that it is not a pleasant sound and I have been on the other end of Karula's particular growl just like that and once walked into her and she certainly made me feel very small so she's doing a sterling effort to try and make herself larger and bigger and more vocal to try and keep Tandi at bay I don't even know actually what to say, what more to say about this. This has just been out of nowhere. I think Tandy's she's getting a bit anxious as well. She's kind of looking around. And the more the sound is being made, the more the likelihood of others arriving is. So we know Tingana often just arrives in the most crazy situation. So that's the last leopard we need to arrive here because a big dominant male will just cause absolute havoc here so I think the best thing is that these two these three try and split as quick as possible and the noise calms down but I wouldn't be surprised if one of them does arrive in Vula or Tingana with the noise that is being made and even Tumba although I think Tumba would be scared of this Tumba would hear this and move the opposite direction keep looking around because Shangila keeps looking past me as though there's something that's behind me but I, I can't see anything it's, it's starting to get dark now it's difficult but sure so I was just sorry Seth, I was just checking what Susana was up to there talking too much because I just want you guys to hear all the sounds that are being made. Shame poor Asana keeps looking at Shungile and when he does she growls at him and he's almost like just looking at her as to say don't growl at me it's not my fault all of this. Right we're just going to quickly go across to Taylor to see what she's been up to and what she's been doing at Chitra Dam while there's a brief hiatus in this particular situation and we'll see you all in a little bit. Literally that was unbelievable. I even whipped out my mobile device and popped uh, well the show on YouTube so I could also see what was going on. How exciting was that? Senzo and I were both sitting on the edge of our seat. That 
was unbelievable. Obviously, we were all very worried about Shongile, and it seems as though Shongile was the one that we didn't need to worry about. She definitely got her mother's fight.